What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's head on into this hut and see what we find. Smells like death in here, probably. Ben, you're back. Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You, uh, hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. What are you doing here? Had you nowhere safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? To know. I lose track, and I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? Another time, perhaps. Who's Ben? Hope we're not about to Another trapper. kill this guy and back I, him up his essence. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I am me to him. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. You're exhausted. And surprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare, always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No, no. It is a nightmare, nothing more. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Started your first haunting case. Must investigate the ghost that haunts Jacob Lind. Use the notification shortcut or open your haunting case menu to follow it. Take his money. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. 
He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damn. Done work. Ben went out nope, without nope, a stop. gun. I'm trying to go We're out the trappers, door. Trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damn. Done work. There we go. He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe he was always alone. Maybe Ben is made up. This is going kind of crazy. I don't know, she just wanted me to walk into this area. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the specters get you. Wise. But I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Quick mist is thicker than a Scots Dragoon. It smells almost as bad. Wait, that's, that's better and a little terrifying. I see fine. I need to find a way to remove the quick mist. To, oh no, I just go down. I don't think I want to go out. I think I want to stay in the mist. Well, hang on real fast. Let me just, just in case there's like something up here. I'm not getting a prompt. Okay. Remind that. No, never mind. So I can't, I can't interact with Do anything. It looks like the fog is coming from those. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Hi. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Not gonna ask for help? Find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Who came in there? Something's here. Hidden.
I think it's back in there. Probably go through this. Did you feel that? It's close. Huh. How do I get over to that? Like a ghost jump or something you can do later? Traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. He may show Marhunyanish. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't I've give had, up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What did you do? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Oh, Ben. Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Jacob delusional. Did he really forget what he did? Maybe his guilt got the better of his reason. We need to find the body. If the wolves haven't gotten there first. No, it's over here. Getting turned around a lot right here. Torn to pieces. No, oh, wait. He's been carved with a knife for his meat. Oh, bro. Still. Oh, God. Oh, no, Ty. 
A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? I guess he killed him, started carving Jacob him up. Eating meat. And then just... Jacob was eating ben. Just blacked it out of his memory. Poor, desperate, starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. I think we got enough to solve this mystery. If all the mysteries are gonna be like this macabre. I have a feeling they are. Like, this doesn't seem like the kind of game where we're gonna get a lot of happy endings. Can't switch. Oh no. Oh man. Not today. God, I need to get rid of that the, the alpha ghost. I'm trying to get rid of the ads first. So I get iframes when I execute that. Damn, dude. So the alpha ghosts are mean. Usually I would I would prioritize targeting ads, but I might actually target or uh, prioritize them because that was brutal. I couldn't I couldn't handle that thing while taking on the ads. It was just chopping me up. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. But you did try to leave, didn't you? You packed up and left. Do you not remember reaching the cliff top? Cliff top makes a fine lookout. Game comes to the water to drink. You can pick him off if in your aim be good enough. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell, Mr. McCray, sir. Farewell.
All right. Let's force this ghost to talk to us. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost in mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous, mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never... I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. 
hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up. We don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. So you made it stop. Do you remember now? I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry. So angry. He kept pushing me. We kept. We argued. And I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first, and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Oh. As a banisher, you must decide. Blame the haunted inhabitant, ascend the ghost, or banish the ghost. Each choice will have consequences, specifically on the way Red and Antea evolve as a couple. If Red wishes to bring Antea back to life, he must blame the largest number of living settlers. Bro! <laughs> oh no. Um. Uh, I mean... That, like, I get it, you want to bring back your, your waifu, but... Since the resurrection ritual will only work if the largest numbers of settlers are sacrificed. I would just have to sacrifice, like, everybody, bro. Tribute to Antea's Ascent. Tribute to Antea's Ascent. Man, this is a hard decision. Because, like, if I'm bringing her back, you know, isn't that basically going to be, like... The bad guy playthrough? Do we embrace a bad guy playthrough right now? <sighs> oh, this is the kind of thing I typically do a poll about, but I I'd like to be done recording this before embargo is done. Um, which I mean, right now, yeah, I could blame Jacob. I get it, but like, not all of them are going to be as morally gray as this one. I'm sure there's, yeah. Uh, You know what? I think I think if we just if we ascend all the ghosts from this world to release, which will banish the ghost to oblivion. 
Oh, work of the largest. No I think I need to like blame. I mean, th this description makes me think I need to blame everybody to possibly bring her back. But even if I wouldn't necessarily play that way, like my, my gut instinct here is to ascend Benedict and Jacob lives with his shame. At the same time, I'm kind of tempted to do a blame playthrough just to see what happens. Cause like, that sounds like it would become the, like, you, you know, how does that affect our characters? So while my gut instinct is to, you know, play it by ear and ascend, I think we're going to go, we're going to go for blame here and, and see, yeah. I want to see how that evolves the story. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. Your soul is mine. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. Jesus. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. Yeah, yeah I just ripped the inside. soul out of somebody to feed it to my dead wife. Oh man. Alright, well let's let's wrap up here on that note. That was uh Man, that's this is uh I, I feel a little wrong doing it, but like I wanna see what happens. I like I'm wondering if we rip the souls out of enough people, does like does Red himself become like corrupted or something? I want to see how that plays out more than I want to follow my gut instinct. So anyway, more is coming your way. I'll catch you then.